you all. Barb, I'm going to start with you. The Trump team obviously seizing on this media blitz. They're going on the attack. Uh, could any of this actually alter the trajectory of the investigation? Yeah, this seems like such an uh, uh, unforced error, Alicia. Uh, the last thing that Fannie Willis needs, you know, as a former prosecutor, hearing these revelations makes my hair stand on end. Uh, but I, I think it's likely uh, that it will not uh, upend the case uh, if she stops talking and no more uh, damaging information is revealed. And that's because of the unique nature of the grand jury in Georgia. This grand jury merely recommended charges. And so I think if there's any taint, it can be cured by the next step, which is a brand new grand jury will look at the charges and make its own charging decisions. These were just recommendations. But I'm concerned less about the fact that she's talking as about what she said. She also revealed mm -hmm. that she uh, obtained a Ninja Turtle popsicle at an ice cream party thrown by the DA's office. They should not be socializing together. It suggests a fraternization and a lack of independence of the grand jury that could be problematic. And so if I'm Fonnie Willis, I am telling my prosecutors to get their ducks in a row before this next round with a new grand jury. Hugo, I started with Barb on what is going to happen in the court of law. There is, of course, also the court of public opinion. Trump responded to the redacted report from the grand jury last week, thanking the jurors for their, quote, patriotism and courage. He even falsely called the report a, quote, total exoneration. But then you had this week, of course, him changing the tune, calling the four women out of control, calling the investigation a, a witch hunt. Talk to me about how Trump, his allies, are weaponizing these interviews that she has done to muddy the waters of public perception. Yeah, the reason why you see the switch in position from Trump uh, between the first truth social post and the second truth social post is because it reflects the switch uh, of position among the lawyers. Uh, if you talk to his legal team, they kind of started off by saying, oh, well, look, Trump's not named in the parts of the report that came out. He was never subpoenaed. He never testified to the grand jury. You know, maybe we will get out of this scot free. And then the four, four women test, you know, who, who, who went on TV and talked about the grand jury deliberations kind of upended that. And then they became very concerned. And when they relayed those concerns to Trump, that was why he he turned around and then started attacking uh, the grand jury investigation. But, you know, this is pretty par for the course for Trump, for him to be attacking an investigation. He's been attacking all of the investigations into him, from the January 6th uh, committee investigation to the federal January 6th uh, criminal investigation to the documents investigation. So I don't think, you, you know, you should expect anything less. And this is just Trump being Trump. Uh